In this tutorial, we'll demonstrate how to use the clone brush, which is an easy to use and extremely powerful tool, as you're about to see. Also, as a point of interest, we're going to paint across three different texture maps, as indicated by the different colors. Each region has its own UV mapping zone, and therefore it requires three different maps. Now, let us begin. Here we have a model which has already been UV mapped. Our first step will be to import a photo reference by dragging and dropping it from a folder into the viewport. We can now use the Move Object tool to position it into place and the, and the Scale Object tool to make sure it's approximately the same size as our object. As an added convenience, we can lock the image to prevent further editing. Now select the clone brush. Our first step is to hold the Alt key and notice how the cursor turns into a crosshair. By clicking on a point in the viewport we're establishing that as a reference point. Let us click on the tip of her nose since that's an easily identifiable feature. Now let us click on the nose of the model and start painting. You notice how the crosshair appears over the photograph illustrating the exact point that we're cloning from. At this point, you may assume that the clone brush only works using photo references as a source. In fact, anything in the viewport can be cloned, including the source object or other objects in the scene. Just think of the viewport, without the lighting applied, as a brush image. Now, let us demonstrate by cloning a few features from this model. For example, if we want to add another mole, we simply choose the clone brush, hold the Alt key to establish the reference point, and then click and paint where we want the new mold to appear. The clone brush is a great way of quickly transferring textures from one source to another. However, since it's using the viewport as the brush image, the resolution is limited to its dimensions. You will want to maximize the application window and maximize the main viewport to get the best results. If you're dealing with very high resolution images and destination texture maps, then you may want to use an alternate technique which involves loading the reference picture as a brush image, but that is a topic of another tutorial. 